as nature continues to heal the land, restoring beauty to a damaged place. Like a garden, like this country, the memorial will never be finished. It will grow and change, but its purpose, to honor the heroes of Flight 93, will never waver. The memorial's allay, a formal walkway lined with trees, winds through 40 groves of native Pennsylvania trees, each grove holds 40 trees, one for each person on board Flight 93. If you follow the allay toward the Memorial Plaza, you will cross a bridge over a wetlands area. Specially designed ponds of cattails and other plants treat mine drainage that was seeping out of the ground and running into a stream. The memorial landscape is designed as a series of experiences, some subtle and some monumental, giving a visitor many different ways to reflect on the story of Flight 93. The man-made design works with the existing landforms rather than overwhelming them. Sky, earth, and memorial blend together. Flight 93 National Memorial sits on a former surface mine. Poor soil and steep slopes made the meadow restoration challenging. Native plants and specialized gardens are used to build and improve the site's soil and water table, compromised by years of mining. Rain gardens near the parking lots catch and filter excess water during storms. Native plants attract bees and butterflies. Grassland habitats, which are declining globally, support such birds as eastern meadowlarks, bobolinks, savanna sparrows, American kestrels, and northern harriers. Since 2011, the Friends of Flight 93, the National Park Service, and the National Park Foundation have worked with thousands of volunteers on a major reforestation initiative. Part of the original architectural design, the goal is to plant 150,000 new trees across the memorial that will reclaim the former surface mine, to re-establish wildlife habitats, create essential windbreaks, and further the healing of the memorial landscape. As of 2017, Volunteers have helped plant more than 101,000 trees across 145 acres of memorial landscape. And each September 11, the public is invited to gather in remembrance and honor of the 40 passengers and crew members of Flight 93, as well as all who gave their lives 16 years ago on September 11, 2001.